What's up y'all, Bricks from Bricks Fitness. Today's video is going to be about weight loss, nutrition, one on one. When it comes to weight loss, Nutrition is the most important thing there is. It doesn't matter what you do in the gym. If your nutrition is not on point, you will remain the same. First thing, there are five categories when it comes to nutrition that I'm going to speak about today. I'm gonna to break each one down and give you a brief explanation of how each one is very important to the success of your weight loss journey. So these five categories are calories, macronutrients, micronutrients, nutrient timing, and supplementation. Now, this is designed to be an overview of nutrition. Nutrition is something that is very complex and there's a lot of information when we're talking about nutrition. So, this is just an overview. I want you to have the diligence and do the research and to, and to look further into each one of these so that you have a great understanding. To lose weight, I really believe that you have to become somewhat of an expert when it comes to what it takes to lose weight. Like I said, this is just an overview. Take a moment right now before I get into this video to like the video. I really appreciate the support, guys. Thank you so much. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Calories. Now, every single thing you eat is made of calories. So at the end of the day, the amount of calories you eat whether you ate more than you burned, or you ate less than you burned, or you ate just the same amount as you burned, it's gonna determine whether you lose body fat, whether you maintain, or you gain body fat. Calories essentially is just the way that we measure energy. Macronutrients. These are the three categories that calories are broken down into. Basically, there's proteins, there's fats, and then there's carbohydrates. So carbohydrates and proteins both have four calories per gram, and fats have, I believe, nine calories per gram. Each macronutrient have a different function in the body. So based on your genetics and the percentage of each that you consume, it has a serious impact on what your physique actually looks like. So you can't eat 2,000 calories in fats and eat 2,000 calories in carbohydrates or 2,000 calories in just proteins, like each one will have a different effect on your body. So making sure that your ratio is, is correct for your genetic makeup is very, very important. Micronutrients refers to the small nutrients and these are the nutrients that are found in vegetables, fruits, etc. Uh, these are the small, often Neglect, neglected aspect of nutrition that has more effect than people actually give it credit. You know, micronutrients are responsible for our health. It's responsible for making sure that our body actually functions the way that it's supposed to. Fiber should also be included into the conversation when we're talking about micronutrients. Fiber is very, very important. I'm not gonna get into details, but make sure that you're getting your fiber and fiber can be found in vegetables and fruit and other foods as well. Now, supplements. Supplements are, in my opinion, should only be used if you're not getting everything you need from your diet. Now, it is kind of hard to get all the protein we need, all the micronutrients we need from, our, from just a whole food sources. Um, so supplements, just like the word says, should be used as a supplement. You should try to get as much vitamins and nutrients you can from your food and protein, from your act, from actual whole food sources. And if you fall short, that's when you use a supplement. There's different types of supplements, of course, uh, multivitamins, um, protein powders, you have your pre-workouts, the list goes on and on. Essentially, you want to use supplements to cover you from what your diet doesn't cover. All right, I'm also gonna take this opportunity to, to touch on a topic that I get asked ab about a lot. They always ask me, Bricks, what do I eat to lose weight? First and foremost, you shouldn't eat anything to lose weight. You can lose weight eating any types of food. It's, n it's more so about the amount of food than what you actually eat, but that's a whole nother video. But my number one answer is always superfoods. 
most of my diet consists of superfoods. No, not 100% of my diet, but I would say about 70 to 75% of my diet consists of superfoods. And I always just tell people to Google superfoods. So what I did is I Googled superfoods and I'm going to list some superfoods that I eat, right? So when you're trying to have a healthier lifestyle and eat a healthier diet, these are some of the foods that you should eat. Greek yogurt, quinoa, blueberries, kale, chia, oatmeal, green tea, broccoli, strawberries, salmon, watermelon, spinach, pistachio nuts, eggs, almonds, ginger, beets, beans, pumpkin, apples, cranberries, garlic, cauliflower, leeks, lentils, walnuts, brussels sprouts, avocados, collard greens, olives, brown rice, oyster, red potatoes, sweet potatoes, edamame, bran flakes, kiwi, black beans, all types of berries, sunflower seeds, sardines, asparagus, bananas, the list goes on and on. Just Google superfoods, eat mostly superfoods, and I promise you, you will not only look better, you will feel a hundred times better. Now, I hope this video helped you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you have not subscribed to the channel yet. I have a lot of great, a lot of great content coming up, so stay tuned for that. And as always, I'm just trying to share the wellness with you guys. So get well and get money.